Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the reduction of acid halides. And we're just going to start here. Ooh, uh, I'm going to use an acid chloride and uh, you know, I'll, I'll be different than in all of my other videos, I'll use a different acid, acid chloride. Uh, and so we need some sort of hydride equivalent nucleophile. Uh, we'll talk about some. And we need uh, probably some sort of aqueous workup and what kind of nucleophile we're using uh, isn't going to, is going to influence our, our choice there. <clears throat> and initially, we couldn't imagine the, the product of this reaction being an aldehyde. But we also know that aldehydes can be reduced by some uh, hydride nucleophiles to form primary alcohols. So we have some things to talk about. Are there hydride nucleophiles that can stop at the aldehyde and, and so on? Okay. Let's talk about some. Um, oh, and let's actually, so let's talk about, we'll use, uh, well, we'll use lithium aluminum hydride first. <clears throat> lithium aluminum hydride is the king of all reducing agents. It is, uh, it does everything that you want a reducing agent to do and more. It reacts with just about every functional group that can be reduced. And so <clears throat> we know that lithium aluminum hydride, or we probably know already that lithium aluminum hydride reacts with aldehydes. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in uh, the primary alcohol as product. So lithium aluminum hydride reduces acid chlorides to primary alcohols. And we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll show at least part of this mechanism here. What I'm going to show you is the, uh, you know, is the lithium aluminum hydride version of the basic uh, strong nucleophile uh, nucleophilic acyl substitution mechanism. You actually saw the nucleophilic acyl substitution uh, header up top, up top of the initial reaction. So we have nucleophilic attack by the hydride nucleophile. And I'm only going to end up showing this kind of mechanism here once on this video because other hydride Nucleophiles are going to behave the same way. And then we get loss of leaving group to make the aldehyde. And it's worth then mention, mentioning that based on the previous video I did in, in terms of relative reactivities, You know, the aldehyde is less reactive than the acid chloride. However, you know, aldehydes react with lithium aluminum hydride. We know aldehydes react with lithium aluminum hydride. Uh, I've covered the mechanism of this reaction uh, before in a video about the, the synthesis of aldehydes, I'm sorry, the synthesis of alcohols from aldehydes and ketones by reduction. Um, so even though the aldehyde is less reactive than acid chloride, aldehydes react with lithium aluminum chloride. Lithium aluminum hydride is not a selective reducing agent. And this is an important word. You have probably heard the term reactivity used and thought that perhaps reactivity is the opposite of stability, right? Something is that is reactive is not stable. But this is a poor, right? Like, this is, this is not a good one. The, the true opposite of reactivity in 
you should consider for organic chemistry is not stability, but selectivity. Something that is reactive is not very selective. Something that is selective is not very, very reactive. Right? So in our initial case, we have lithium aluminum hydride, the most reactive reducing agent, and an acid chloride, the most reactive uh, carbonyl compound towards nucleophiles. This is a recipe for going all the way. If we had a more selective reducing agent, so we have a less reactive, more selective reducing agent. I want to. I want to say if if we have a less reactive, more reducing agent, we may be able to stop at the aldehyde. Right. since the aldehyde is less reactive as well. So this is a, an opportunity to pair less reactive, less reactive. And it just so happens that we do have such a reducing agent out there. Uh, and it's one by... Uh, taken by careful reaction of lithium aluminum hydride with uh, tertiary alcohols, usually. And so you have these lithium trialkoxy aluminum hydrides, like this. And the R in this group is often Or is often terp-butyl, but it can be methyl and other things. Uh, but you have these lithium trialkoxy aluminum hydrides. Uh, and while we consider OR, you know, you know, alkoxy groups are electron donating by resonance, but they're electron withdrawing by induction. And there's no opportunity for resonance here. So having these other electronegative atoms actually makes that hydrogen less nucleophilic. So, to, oops, 3H. This is less reactive, not less reactivity, less reactive than aluminum hydride. And I apologize for wanting to. try to assemble these and not have to redo my subscripts in a weird way. Right. So it's less reactive than lithium aluminum hydride. Aldehydes are less reactive than acid chloride. This combination stops at the aldehyde and does not react further. We have Oh, font. Hold on. There's just no way you can read this. This combination stops at the aldehyde. I need to fix my font. There you go. This combination stops at the aldehyde. If the aldehyde is less reactive, the reducing agent is less reactive. This is an opportunity for selectivity to exist. You get selectivity when the product is less reactive than the reactants, and you're using a more selective reagent. So this reagent, so lithium aluminum hydride only reacts with aldehydes, or I'm sorry, only reacts with acid chlorides, does not react with uh, aldehydes. Right. And I've run out of space here, uh, and I want to wrap this video up. But since aldehydes are less reactive than acid chlorides and sodium borohydride reduces aldehydes, we should probably come to the same the conclusion that sodium borohydride is a strong enough reducing agent to reduce acid chlorides all the way to alcohols as well. 
So in the next video, we'll talk about carbon nucleophiles and acid chlorides. Thanks for watching.